welcome back, and holy crap, we have a lot to talk about. So, um, I want to first by updating everybody on the current situation and what kind of what recent events happened today to lead to Go Battle League finally shutting down. So, I just want to before I start, thank you guys, we did it, we got Niant Niantic's attention, and they finally. Uh, close go battle league down. So let's kind of see what led up to this So, you know, I uploaded that video a couple days ago and thanks to everyone who's watched it and shared it Retweeted my tweet. I mean like wow you guys really really helped spread this and it and it got way more attention than I was expecting um, So then the next thing that I saw happen was uh, Toshi who's really high up in the leaderboard He's a really well-respected battler in the PvP community. He posted this clip that I'm gonna play for you guys right now and he's against the same guy that uh, Jesus G or Jesus G, whatever his name is. Um, and he ran into the Leafeon that you saw us run into. And what happened was, in this guy's shielding, shout out to him in Twitter, he posted that he noticed that right here, the shield, the quick moves are going in during the charge move animation. So as soon as that charge shield goes down, you see a big chunk of or health drop from the Gyarados, which means that Leafeon was getting like three Razor Leafs in during the charge move animation, which explains why that Melmetal was getting so many Rock Slides off, because during the actual Rock Slide animation, or during my Shadow Sneak animation, they were getting two or three more Thunder Shocks in, which is why we were seeing so many uh, Rock Slides just getting fired one after the other. It was crazy. And so, and some of you guys were commenting, um, asking was he on the leaderboard yet and at the time when i posted the video they weren't but he he was now if you see here i'm putting the screenshot he quickly got to number one in the world which means he jumped like 400 points or more in two days which is literally impossible and if you also look at the number of battles he had 274 battles which is very very minimal amount of battles he's basically won every single match like that's what that means you can't play that many battles and get that high of a rank without having like an insane win rate so he probably won like 99 percent of his battles at least so fast forward to today i see nick's uh trainer tips doing a live stream i go on there and i ask him if he saw the exploit i'm just going to play this for you because i kind of geeked out um i met him a few times in the past but like it's just always an honor to have such a big influence in the pokemon go community acknowledge uh me and so i'm just going to play this clip for you here uh right now have i heard of the exploit i sure have dude i've seen your video um seems like niantic's on it though they, they banned the guy he's not on the leaderboard anymore so that's fast action yeah man it's a big deal i mean it's it's huge you blew the lid off this thing you broke the story <laughs> oh my god i'm like geeking out right now but yeah i was so honored at that and like holy crap just completely just honored that he he saw the video even and yeah so let's just keep going because i have a lot more to say but shout out to other YouTubers have brought this to attention. My friend Billy from the Trainer Club, shout out to him. I texted him the video this morning and he put it in, uh, or was it yesterday, last night? I can't remember, I think it was early this morning. No, I think it was yesterday. And he put it in his video that he uploaded like late last night, early today. So he brought some more attention to it. Also, Famous Last Words uploaded a video um, like showcasing uh, Toshi's battle, but you know, still talking about the same trainer using the same exploits. And so we together we brought a lot of attention to it. Um, and yeah, and there was a streamer on Twitch who it was funny because he was like saying, "I didn't uh, seven even please shout out to him. He's on Twitch. Uh, I never I haven't heard of him until today, but uh, King tweeted about him. He ran into the same thing. He led Cresselia into Rock Slide and had, it was like, it was funny. He was saying, yeah, I, you know, I haven't run into that glitch before. And like, literally right as he was saying it, that guy started throwing those Rock Slides at him. And he was like, what? what? <laughs> like, he was so surprised and like, yeah. So then like someone mentioned my video in the chat. So shout out to that person. Like, oh my God. Like, we all shared it. We all talked about it. We got the exposure. Niantic did... Uh, finally hear everybody and then they close go battle league down so um, my video was just getting I noticed in the last couple hours today 
it was getting a lot of views, like 3,500 views in an hour, which is like absurd. I'd never get that many ever. And I was like, what's going on? And I saw some people writing articles about it. And so like, shout out to Kale Michael, who wrote an article about the Go Badly going down. He also uh, plugged my channel in there and my Twitter. And yeah, so that was a, like, there's a video there you can see. And then other people wrote an article, like on futuregamerrelease.com wrote an article about it. Um, on iMore, someone wrote an article about it, so shout out to that person. And it was even on another website that I, I apologize, I don't, I can't read the language here, but the video was shared there. And so, yeah, you can see here, uh, latest activity, 47% of the views from the last 48 hours were from external sources, meaning people writing articles about it and linking to it. Um, and so, yeah, it was just, I was not expecting this at all, so I'm really, really grateful. I mean, I didn't upload this video to get views and subscribers. I just wanted to bring it to your attention. I even had to put the other video on hold. And I just wanted to get it your, t to your attention so that people wouldn't run into the same battler and, you know, get like automatically lose and lose more rating points. Because it's very, very frustrating. You work so hard for those rating points. And to lose to someone exploiting the game, uh, like a bug or whatever, it just sucks. And that's kind of why, that's why I uploaded the video as fast as I possibly could. And I'm just pleased at the outcome. Uh, the, the community came together and we, and hopefully we'll see a fix. Hopefully we'll see a fix. So that's pretty much where we're at right now. I do want to end off by saying, um, now that Niantic has saw this and has witnessed this exploit, uh, please don't harass the person using it because we don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know if you guys know, but I don't know this person. I don't know even if it's a bot. I don't know if it's a person or just a kid maybe who's just like thinks his metal metal is OP and just like he's just like, man, I keep winning. Like, this is awesome. Like, I don't know. So I'm not, please don't harass this person. I'm not going to harass this person. I don't even know their Twitter. I don't know anything about them other than their username. But the only reason I pointed out the username, because some people were, were skeptical of why I was doing that or they were questioning why I did that. The only reason that I was showing you the username was so that you as other battlers who are playing fair do not run into the same battler and get and lose. So I was only just kind of sending like a warning, like watch out for this username. Um, I really don't want anyone to harass this guy or girl, whoever it is. And I don't think, I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're all past that at this point. Like, I think we're all just glad that Niantic is, uh, has like seen this and just is going to work on investigating the issue and working on the fix it so we can all move on. So yeah, please just don't harass this person, whoever it is. Um, I don't think we're going to, you guys are going to do that anyways, because you guys are awesome. And thank you guys so much for commenting and sharing your experiences. A lot of you have been witnessing this with other Swampers, you know, spamming charge moves. And so I'm sure other people are doing it either on purpose or on accident. We don't know, but it's getting fixed, hopefully. Cross some fingers. <laughs> so. We're going to leave it at that. Um, thank you guys again for commenting. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you tomorrow.